Yes, global warming. What is global warming? Global warming is when our Earth is getting warmer and warmer year by year and is disturbing the environment. Our environment which supported life. <coughs> so the big concern now is global warming. What are the causes of global warming? Why this change? Why is this globe or our earth getting warmer? That's one question. There again, the answer is given to you. There's about four points about that. Sorry, global warming has many points. What is the cause? This global warming is the heat and then coming back to the glass house. The heat that is trapped in the glass house or the heat that is trapped in the atmosphere. That heat, there was a balance. There was a balance with nature and the average composition was maintained. Sad to say, one of the causes of global warming is man over the years, thousands of years, he has been cutting down trees, deforestation to make factories, houses, schools, hospitals and what not. And as a result, over the years, hundreds of years going by now and we have come to now a very dangerous critical state. We have to talk, check this out. This fact you also need to know that our forest is very friendly with the environment, very friendly with living beings. They supply us with oxygen and the carbon dioxide let out by man which is from the factories and the burning of fuel and so many points given there this is not maintaining the balance so the, the level of oxygen too is dropping and the carbon dioxide is increasing because the trees are becoming lesser and lesser and lesser. So it's concerned here, this chapter, greenhouse effect about the global warming and the how to control it. The controlling of global warming is very, very important. Because of this global warming, the whole cycle have been have been disturbed bring you back to this picture you may have seen a movie called the Titanic the Titanic was the unsinkable ship the ship that was never made to sink and what happened because of global warming the ice from the mountains the ice the surrounding areas were melting because of the heat in the atmosphere breaking down as big junks and getting immersed in the oceans and say oceans this big junk of ice the icebergs floating in the sea. Only a top, a bit of it from the top is not as well. But it's like a mountain buried, more than half of the mountain buried, mountain of ice buried in the oceans. And that is what saw the destruction of the Titanic, the unsinkable ship. 
that the global warming global warming is a breathing place for viruses and bacteria this is going to cause a lot of sickness the living conditions for living beings is not the same because of global warming and so the seasons are changing the days are changing the temperature is changing rapidly and with that we are, our vegetation is affected the farmer who needs a certain type of climate for certain crops in the year but because of global warming the seasons have been changing they're all going wrong not the right way all because man is not putting a check of what is causing it now the points are given to you what is causing the global warming very clearly given to you and for which man has started taking steps to save our beautiful earth the earth our only planet a unique planet that supports life no other planets has water air and land because we have water air and land man is living beings exist living things so our earth is unique because it has these spheres atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and what is the other one lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere biosphere means the sphere where life exists now the next chapter which we are supposed to do is chapter 4 elements of weather now i like to remind you once again that atmosphere we are in all these chapters that we have marked coming to you at 3 4 and 5 are all actually concerning atmosphere so it is one chapter really atmosphere is one chapter broken up in different parts so that it begins you begin to understand it well everything about the atmosphere so now we have the elements of weather now before that you need to know what is weather and what is climate we keep hearing or reading somewhere or the other about the climate and out of the weather now what is it how would you differentiate it how would you make the difference by giving it to you at the board so that you can see the difference and register the difference you need to know the difference between weather and climate so it is given to you here in the board the difference between weather and climate now weather refers to a short term condition of atmosphere weather keeps changing changing at intervals weather is unpredictable we at one time it is very sunny and after an hour it becomes cloudy and maybe again after some time it becomes rain, rainy so weather really is a short time it's there to stay for a short time and keep changing from time to time there's no fixture now the study of weather is called meteorology so now climate climate is a long time climate is the average weather condition climate is the average weather condition we're now coming back to the condition of the weather that the average weather condition over a long period of time so climate here we have the kind of climate that we are doing presently we have we got summer what kind of climate summer winter rainy season 
So this is the climate. When it's summer, it is there for a few months to stay. And winter too, it's a few months there to stay. And even the rainy season. So like this, the climate is a long time. And it can be generalized because we know that this is the time it is going to stay for long. And the study of climate is called climatology. So this is explaining to you the difference between weather and climate. So that highlighting weather and climate. So I explain to you what weather is and what climate is. Now what are the elements of weather? Now before I go to the elements of weather, I like to draw. So I'm doing away with what I've given you here. Now sticking to climate, I'm going to draw the heat zones. 